It's your boy Noyo. Coming to another video. Coming to you with more content, man. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how genetics play a big part of the body game, guys. Genetics play a huge part of the body game. If you guys haven't noticed that, a lot of people have different types of body types, guys. Very, very different types of body types. And the various types of body types will automatically tell you that everybody has different genetics. The genetics play a huge part simply because everybody just can't look the same. So with that being said, for those that are giving you advice on how to build your body and stuff like that, like you got to understand like where did they come from? Where did their journey start? Did they come from heavy to from heavy to skinny or not skinny but muscular or did they come from skinny to muscular? You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is those the dudes that are heavier, I don't think you should really take advice from dudes that are coming from going, trying to go heavier to muscular. You should take advice from dudes that are going, coming from skinny to muscular, mostly because they don't understand. They won't be able to understand each other. And like, the thing is, there's a lot of things that are being misguided and a lot of unrealistic expectations come from them thinking that, oh, I can look like this. But you gotta understand that this guy has been skinny and defined ever since he was a, he always, his whole life he's been skinny and defined. But you've always been on the heavier side, but you want your stuff to show like his stuff is showing, but he's already been tight before he even started working out. So that's, that's the thing, it, it'll misguide you and make you feel like, oh, that you're lesser than, and you, you feel like you're not getting anywhere because you're not looking like this person. You know what I'm saying? So stop just, don't have these unrealistic expectations. Understand, if you're coming from heavier and trying to get muscular and you're trying to lose weight and get hit the gym and get the muscles on and you know what I mean, and reveal what you work for by stripping down the body fat, you gotta understand your journey is nowhere near as the same as a skinny dude that's putting on muscle and their body's pretty much being tight the whole time. At all. It's that journey is not the same at all. You're gonna have some flabby skin or whatever and coming down, it's gonna take you longer to reveal what you wanna reveal, and you never know, depending on how big you are, you might have a lot of loose skin. And that's something that you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to be willing to accept. But the good thing about the body game is, you have, you have different types of bodies that are attractive to women. Now, I know a lot of y'all wanna do the body game for women, let's just keep it real. But there's a whole bunch of different body types. Look like right here. In this, I got a lot of women at this size. You gotta understand, I got a lot of women at this size. And it's just like, because a lot, I guess they like football players, builds or, or whatever, but I was a big stocky dude. I'm coming from the, I'm coming from the roughneck side of things, guys. I've always been like a heavier, but kind of stocky and uh, kind of, you know, buff dude. I always been like that because for, for a while, I've been like that. But I was always on the heavier end. And I never really had any problems. So my thing is like, guys, you don't have to be stripped down and you don't have to be like a, you don't have to be a bodybuilder, a fitness model or something like that just to just to appeal to women. Like you gotta understand it. Cause I know that's the most reason why everybody's doing this. That's why I wanna say it is to get women. But it's mostly supposed to be done for you to, you know, maintain your health, have good health, good resistance training, every, all that contributes to your health. And your body is just, you know, it's gonna reflect on what the work you put into it. And the thing is, once you do that, you get discipline and stuff in other ways, other areas of your life, and that'll overall help you. So the body game can just go, just can just take you different places that you never thought it could take you. You thought, okay, I'm doing this for women, and you end up finding out that, oh man, my health is better. You go take a doctor visit, you, you cholesterol, but you know anything. Any, anything like that, your health is improving. It overall, make you feel better about yourself. And that's why when genetics come into play, you can't have body dysmorphia and think that, oh, okay, dang, if I, if, if, I, if I look like this, I can't, I can't just measure up to this guy or whatever. But work with what you got. The way people's biceps are, are peaked, the way their chest looks, the way their traps look, that is all genetic, guys. The way your abs look and shaped and form, they are all genetic. That is genetic. You gotta understand that. 
look at how the way yours tie in, look at the way your, your body looks and go off of that because that's the only thing that you can control. And how your genetics look are out of your control. But the way you can enhance and, and work on your body is in your control. So do the best with what you got. Just, just stop trying to look like these, these models and stuff like that. Don't be discouraged if you can't. There's nothing wrong with having a gold physique. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't be discouraged if you're not hitting it right then and there. And if you gotta look at your genetics and be real honest with yourself and be like, okay, I don't know, I don't look like this, but I know I can be the best over here. I can, I can, I can improve upon it and improve upon it the best way you can. And go with it. Trust me, go with it. The process is really the best part of this, guys, because. Once you, once you get into the field and the Google thing, and a lot of people's reactions are gonna change around you and stuff like that, like that is golden, man. That dash mark in between your journey, man, that is golden. So that, the changes and the way people treat you, the way females respond to you, that is golden, man. So don't feel like just because you aren't there that you can't get, that you can't be able to achieve desired results. And like I say, I know a lot of big dudes that look athletically big dudes look like they be on the line and stuff like that. Got plenty of women, trust me. So you don't have to be a, a real cut down dude. Now, if you want to be cut and stuff like that, that, that's fine. If that's your goal, then that's fine. That's my goal. I want to cut down and I want to finally do that because I've been the big stocky guy all my life. So like, I want to try this way and be have a leaner physique. That's, that's my own personal preference, but I'm not going to down myself just because I'm not there. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the whole different thing. So I'm not finna, I'm not about to dumb down myself and, and discourage myself just because I don't look like this dude, just because I don't look like this male anxiety dancer, just because I don't look like this bodybuilder, just because I don't look like this fitness model. You gotta understand that guys. Work with what you got and present it. Once you have your presentation, wrap your package up good with your style and, and match it with a good demeanor and uh and nice masculine attitude and that's that. Just leave it at that, guys. You don't have to do, don't make this overcomplicated. Don't, don't do the most, all right? So anyway, that's your boy Noto. Come and see you with more videos. Come and see you with more content, guys. And remember, guys, anybody can improve themselves if they're willing to work at it. I'm out.